Hello and thank you very much for clicking onto this video and also thank you very much for subscribing if you've subscribed to this video. Unless you don't really need to subscribe to this channel but just watch the videos and I will be ever so grateful. I just love making review videos and thrifting videos. They're really what I watch on YouTube. And also I'm hoping that some of my videos actually, maybe if it's a review video that it's helpful or if it's a thrifting video then it inspires somebody else to go out and thrift as well. So yes, so this video is all about the little Gucci bag that I thrifted and honestly I don't need another bag. I'm trying to save up for a holiday but this one was a bargain and it was on my little bucket list. It I was in one of the Depop things that I ordered last week, but it didn't come in time for that video, so I thought I'd show it here. And also what's interesting is one of the other YouTubers that I watch, her name is Amber Marie Rogers. She does a lot of fragrance videos, but she does some video, uh, beauty videos as well. She mentioned she bought a Gucci bee bag and I just, it's one of the combinations I love. I love Gucci design, but I also love the little bees they put in some of their items. Absolutely amusing. So this one here is thrifted, it's vintage, and it is in a terrible condition. Well, the outside of it is in a terrible condition, but the Inside, it's really absolutely an amazing condition, as well as the leather. I think if it had been really bad, I would have left it. But because there were some really good points, I decided to buy it and save it. So I bought it on Depop. And this is it here. So it's a little mini tote, monogram tote. Just stand the way back here. So from far away, it actually doesn't look too bad. And I say it's all my sort of like bucket list of bags because I just love the monogram uh, on Gucci and I love this color of leather combination. I think the pink is, is absolutely gorgeous. And I am definitely not a pink girl, so I don't know why I love this pink. The brown and the black and even the red are pretty classic. I think they're really popular with this type of bag, but I just love this. Now, I would have preferred a bigger tote because I think if you're going to use a tote, you, you, you usually use it for carrying a lot of items. So the mini tote, but I'm just glad to have it anyway, regardless. <laughs> So I'm going to bring you in and show you the really bad points of it, the really good points of it and what I'm going to do to try and save it. So it was £30, which I could have maybe haggled and cut it a little bit lower, but I think there were a few people interested in it and I just decided to get it really, really quick. So, and it is genuine. <laughs> The main damage on this bag is the corners. I mean, loads of bags, especially canvas bags. That's the first place they go, and this is no exception. It is pretty bad, actually. Worse than some of the ones that I've seen. You can see, I mean, all this bit here. The corners. So that's the corners and then on the main body of the bag as well we have little bits of wear here it's hard to show because some of it's the thread is very reflective but you have this bit here and you turn it around the other side there's an, another bit here as well and then towards the top, I think there is some marks at the side as well. See, it's hard to see because some of the, the thread is sort of reflective, but that's where it's worn. And then on the other side as well, you have a little bit there. Now that's the damage. 
the good part is the leather is in absolutely really really good condition considering the rest of the bag look at the bottom the bottom is i mean it's absolutely perfect here leather is perfect there's no fraying and all the handles are securely attached to the bag there is no separation going on so if you look here i mean they're all securely attached the top of the bag or sorry the rim of the bag here the leather all very good just need a really good conditioning there may be some color fading but that is really really easy to do with um just buying there's loads of leather dyes out there and i'm sure there's one that will match in but really good cleaning and that will be not as noticeable the leather on the handles again they're really usually there's cracking there's fraying going on and these are actually in very very good condition and uh, condition just need a good condition and some of the oil transfers from your hand so there is some a little bit discoloration but not much going on there at all the hardware is also in very good condition as well there's hardly any scrapes at all on it now definitely some fading I think these might have been originally like a gold colour and the faded the silver which is is okay it's fine so all the hardware is in really good condition and that includes the, the straps as well the interior again is in really good condition that would this is what makes it so frustrating i wish the care and attention had been uh placed on the outside as well because the inside is absolutely amazing so you've got two little open pockets there and then a zippered pocket there and it has the gucci heat stamp there and then the Gucci serial number, which I haven't checked out yet, but I'm pretty sure that it's all right. And also, while I'm talking about the serial number, the other way of authenticating, just in case you happen to be um, interested in authenticating Gucci, is the zipper. Now, there's no main zipper running across the tote bag, but there's a little zipper in the inside pocket. And they should be marked with Gucci in there as well. And as far as I know, Gucci have did that for a lot of years. So if you have a real vintage bag, um, it should say Gucci in there as well. Some of the brands have the manufacturer of the zip actually on the inside, but Gucci is a little bit different. So that is just a little tip. So yeah so that is the bag so really frustrating that it's so the leather is so good and the inside is so good and as i said before if that hadn't been the case i might have passed the bag because of the, the corners are so bad but one of the solutions i mean the first solution is the corners what to do with them i think if you had a bigger bag there it's lots of people that rework bags now so you could send it off and have maybe off the bottom of the bag cut down shorter and reattached especially because this leather bag is the leather bit is in such good condition so what they do is they cut off the damage mix the bag a little bit shorter and then they attach the bottom back on but because this is a small bag that is never going to work and also you have to fa factor in the cost of the bag as well if it's a bag that you really 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 love then it's always worth doing and uh, the other thing you can do is then get the quarters repaired most shoe menders um if they don't have a place in their store that 
offer uh, a repair service, they usually outsource it. So they'll know somebody that they can send this off to to get the corners repaired by um I don't know what way they can do with threads. They can do sort of, some sort of invisible mending. Um, some, if you weren't bothered too much, I mean, you could use that invisible glue that would stick this down, but the damage is still going to be a little bit visible. So I'm not sure what I want, what I'm going to do about the corners yet. One idea is actually trying to get the threads and fixing it myself. The main body of the bag, I've had an idea, and this actually the idea stems from Gucci itself. Gucci, along with other major brands, actually have little patches that they put on some of their monogram bags. Um, it's usually a theme. I remember, I think it's Louis Vuitton had a lovely little tote with Super Mario on, it was absolutely amazing. Now this bag wouldn't carry a Super Mario theme, but I picked these up on eBay and the seller said they were very similar to what Gucci used. They can either be ironed on or sewed on, what, you're, what you feel comfortable with. And then they just placed over the damage, which I think is absolutely amazing. I just ordered this one just to get an idea of what would look really right on the bag because I think this being a smaller bag I have to be really careful and not get anything that's too big and gaudy and yet still finding something that's going to cover the damage. I think this looks really 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 good and also Gucci had their one of their last collection was a garden collection and they had some really pretty embroidered flowers and birds and I know you can pick up some um, similar patches which I might look into and order so yeah those definitely the patches will look really really good and cover up some of the damage definitely I need to get smaller ones and also I actually seen patches that might actually work and cover the corner damage now I've seen patches that are the same colour of the leather, some little hearts and I think they would tie in or try and get some patches that are maybe the same colour of the canvas. Some of the ideas I'm just going about in my mind, I haven't really decided what I want to do but definitely for the main body of the bag I'm definitely going to get some little patches to cover them. And I probably do a little updated video. This patch was actually a little bit dear. Patches range from one pound upwards. This was I think about four pounds, which is not all that bad considering the work involved. It's beaded and the little wings, there's fur on the little wings. This is actually amazing. I love this one and I think I'm actually going to put this patch here. And to iron on or so on was a dilemma as well. I want to cause the least amount of damage and I think I'm just going to iron it on and I think that just would be the easiest and I think um, if it didn't work out the iron on patches are easily removed as well. So that's it, that's my little thrifted Gucci bag. If you have any questions as usual please feel free to leave them in the comment section below i will always get back to you and yep yeah, thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening wherever you are thank you bye bye